So which is the better card to mine with? The RX 580 or the 1660 Ti? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. I have quite a few videos coming out every week in the cryptocurrency space. Also, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. And today, I'll be giving away some Bitcoin. So stay tuned for that. If you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, so as I usually do, I like to test different miners, put cards against each other, see which one does better and today we got the 1660 ti versus the rx 588 gig so we're going to jump into my spreadsheet i created i tested five different um, algorithms and we'll see how it did and we'll see what the roii is on both of those cards so let's dive in all right so here we are in this little nifty spreadsheet i did something like this a couple weeks back the 1660 Ti versus the 1070 Ti. If you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. It should be popping up around here and also at the end of this video. So first we're going to start off with Gminer 1.50. That was the miner we used. And that was mining Bitcoin gold. So on the RX 580, 24 souls at 110 watts. Here are the overclocks I have for that card in the undervolt right there. So 24 souls, not really too great. The 1660 Ti, 36 souls at 90 watts. So 20 watts less and about 12 more souls. So 1660 Ti beats that handily on that one. All right, so next we use Wild Rig to mine X16R Ravencoin. And over on the 1660 Ti, we use Crypto Dredge. Six mega hash on the Wild Rig. Uh, RX 580, which was not good at all. 115 watts power efficiency. Those are the overclocks. And 15.7 with Crypto Dredge at 170 kilowatts an hour. So, again, 1660 Ti blew the RX 580 out of the water. Um, of course, the NVIDIA cards do much better than the AMD cards on Raven, but... Just doing a comparison to see which one is better on various algorithms here. All right, so next, using G Miner on the NVIDIA card, uh, Kukuru 29 mining swap. So 4.8 graphs a second for the 1660 Ti as opposed to 1.8 for the RX 580. 95 watts on power for the 580 as opposed to 90 for the 1660 Ti. So that was pretty close. But what wasn't close was the graphs per second. Almost three graphs more per second for the 1660 Ti, which was, I mean, that's, again, not even close. So there's three of them, just not even close. Next, we, I think it was going to be Ethereum Classic, if I'm not mistaken. Claymore on the NVIDIA, 30 and a half mega hash for Ethereum Classic. Uh, those are the overclocks there, RX 580. This one should be the winner on this, but it's not. 29.4 mega hash on Phoenix Miner 4.2. I mean, it was close, but 1.1 mega hash, 1660 Ti, again, beats it out. And finally, using SG Miner to mine MTP or Z coin, only 760 kilo hashes a second at 120 watts. Just ridiculously low. And the 1660 Ti, 2 mega hash at 23 kilowatts an hour. So again, clear winner, 1660 Ti versus the 580. The Ti just beats it on everything. Not even close. Now let's get down to the actual cost of these cards. And if you were to go out and buy these new, which, you know, you can go buy them used. But I like to buy my stuff new. I don't trust used cards. So this is what I did. I found the cheapest new cards that I could find. And I went ahead and did the ROII, the return on initial investment. So here are the costs of these cards. 
179.99 found the cheapest RX 580 and 269.99 for the 1660 Ti Ventus, which is what I have. Uh, the coins, the best coin of mine right now to get your quickest return on investment would be a 39 cent profit per day on the 580 as opposed to 65 cents for the 1660 Ti. Ethereum Classic on that 580, you could be getting 39 cents a day. And Z coin, 65 cents a day take home for the 1660 Ti. And the big one right here, the ROII, 461 days for the 580 as opposed to only 415 for the 1660 Ti. So if you had any questions about maybe you wanted to get a 580 as opposed to a 1660 Ti, I think they were just answered. Yes, the TI is a little more expensive by about, what is it, 90 bucks? But you're going to get your return on investment quicker, and it mines all these algorithms better than the 580. So for me, it's a no-brainer. Okay, so let's get into who wins Bitcoin Fridays. So let's go ahead and pull that Enter to Win video up, which is right here. Let's go ahead and copy this URL. And we got the random YouTube comment picker here. Let's go ahead and paste this in. We'll click Get YouTube Comments. 325 unique comments. As I say every week, guys, if you don't win, don't worry about it. I do this every week. Just make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell so when the Enter to Win video does come out, you'll be notified, all right? So let's go ahead and pick a winner, guys. Good luck, everybody. Juanito R. Awesome video, homie. All right, well, thanks. And he put my Satoshis that I needed in there from my Kudo Miner. So let's go ahead and copy his BTC wallet address. Juanito. Awesome video. All right. We'll pull up my wallets. It's going to be 20. Go ahead and send. And there we go. All right, Juanito. Congratulations. If you could, be sure to comment down below that you did, in fact, receive the Bitcoin. I would appreciate it. Uh, again, be sure to check out that video, 1660 Ti versus 1070 Ti. I did. That was a really close comparison. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And if you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care.